So we have Peep here today, and she's a silky, right? Yep. Did you just burp on me? <laughs> Little Sebastian. <laughs> Let's do a belly rub. Let's do a belly rub. Okay, Julian is missing a leg. Is there a story about that, or you got him up that way already? Well, when he was born, he was what they call a hard pull. He had to be pulled out of his mom. Basically, unintentionally destroyed all the nerves in his shoulder. Who is this one? This is Lucky. Lucky I'm the made a new online course called How to Massage Your Own Dog. So I finally made it to Waynesville, North Carolina. I'm at Friendly Fields Farms with Alexa and Sharon, and they own this amazing nonprofit farm. It's a rescue farm. Now, if people wanted to chip in and, and donate or be a part of supporting your mission, what are ways they can do that? Yeah, we have a donate page on our website that lines up all the different platforms that you can donate on. We also offer like a sponsor an animal program. So mm -hmm. if you know you kind of hear an animal story that you're really connected to, you can sponsor that specific animal. Um, and then if you if you happen to live in Waynesville, North Carolina, <laughs> I mean, we'd love to have you come and volunteer. We have Peep here today. Do you spell P E E P? That's a good. That's how I would spell it. And she's a silky, right? Yep. Tell me about a silky. So silkies are a small breed of domestic chicken. They have kind of fluffy feathers. They can't fly very well. And then they have this kind of really pretty blue color to their skin and these little blue ears. Yeah, you're so pretty. <laughs> and now she had, when you, she was surrendered to your farm. Here we are at Friendly Fields Farms. Yep. In Waynesville, North Carolina. And how many chickens in, do you think you have? Here. We have probably right around 25 chickens. Or how about if we just go right into avian or like you broaden the scope with geese and everything that you have um, in the probably, bird category? Probably like 65. We okay. have quite a few birds. <laughs> wow. So you were surrendered to be with a better place to live. You're so lucky. You're lucky. You want to peck my nose? Okay. So I wanted to know if I could do a quick checkup on you. Oh, so what was her ailment? Tell us. Um, so she was surrendered because she has a visual impairment. She's not completely blind, but she can't see her surroundings very well. Mm -hmm. So in, she was in a flock with quite a few chickens and quite a few large chickens, and they were kind of bullying her. Oh, so. okay. No more bullying? No more bullying. Did you get her fit for a pair of glasses? I uh, haven't tried that yet. Okay. I don't think they do that. You find an animal All right, so I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to put my hand right underneath. I'm going to start checking you. May I check you today? So I'm up here at the Atlas. Okay, I'm just going to do this a little. Got the Atlas. Coming down the neck. Okay, a little bit in the neck here. Now we're into this section of the thoracic area. Okay, you hear all that? Lower down. And a lot of this is not movable section here until we get lower by the sacrum. So now I'm by the sacrum. A little bit there. <laughs> Did you just burp on me? It might have been a burp. Okay. And let's feel the tail. Where's your tail? Okay, don't move yet. Okay, let's get this back leg. Move your leg, mobilize it. So we're mostly just extending it and compressing. Extending. Okay, a little more. Compressing. Now we're going to do the left leg. Nice extension on you. Beautiful. Nice legs. Okay. Let's feel that hip. So I'm in the hip. Mobilizing the hip. Just seeing what that feels like. And I'm not trying to cure blindness right now. If you're wondering, is he going to cure her blindness? That's not my goal. My goal is just to go through and check everything. Now I'm on the little 
the little upper leg muscle. You have nice muscle tone. You're cute. You have all this great little physique. Must be tough. You were running, running away from all the bullies. If you're watching this, please leave a comment and encourage her to live a healthy, safe life away from bullies. Okay? People were bullying you, and how do you feel about that? That must be so tough when people bully you. Can I give you a kiss, a little kisses? Okay, Peeps. What a name for you, Peeps. So let, now I'm down here on the little lower cervicals. Digging in there. Here, put your finger on there. You can feel the, where I am. Oh, yeah. That's the cervical bone. Right, that's lower. Oop, a little bite on me. I, I needed that. <laughs> Keep me in line. Okay, and I'm going to come in on the mostly massaging in there. Okay. Rubbing the neck a little bit. Coming through the little top part here. Let's do that. Just a little massage. You know, I have this course called How to Massage Your Dog. HowToMassageYourDog.com if you ever want to look it up. But I'm thinking I should do how to massage your chicken. <laughs> and people can massage their chicken. So right now I'm doing the frontalis. Here, hold this for a second. So I'm up here like this, doing the frontalis muscle here. Got to cover that up. And so now I'm up here. Now we're going to do little cheekbones. We'll do a little chicken massage. A little chicken massage. And now I'm coming down the cervical chain. And that's a pretty blue area in the corner. She's got a little blue in the corner. Coming down here. I'm coming into the mid back. Right there. What do you think of that spot? That's where you get tension from being on the computer all the time. So when a chicken is on a laptop, on a computer, text messaging, they get technology neck, tech neck, and I'm working those muscles out. Now I'm coming down the back, past the wings, down towards the rear end. And here's the rear end. Let's see, there's your nice pretty tail. Look at your tail, your tail is beautiful, but let me just check the alignment. It's a little tight. So the apex of the tail is a little stuck to the right. So I'm gonna bring it back and get it that way. Now we recheck. And now I'm down here where the tail meets the base. A little more, got it. Okay, here's your beautiful wing. Look at that beautiful wing. Let's take it out one more time. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Whoever knew you were this beautiful? Of course, you guys did, but I didn't. You never met before. Oh, that's why they picked on you, because you're beautiful, and they were jealous. Right? They didn't know what to do with your beauty. Okay, let me rub your head again. A little head massage. A little... Look at that. I love that. you got to put a little mousse in here <laughs> and spike this up sometimes. Can you do a little hair gel? And just hold this up. Let me just get it to fluff up a little bit. Okay, that's what we want. And you should really work this, if you ask me. You should be sporting this little kind of mohawk thing. Or a mullet. It's like a little bit of a mullet in a good way. Most mullets aren't cool anymore, but you could do it. All right, I think we're done. I think that's all we're going to do with Peeps today. Peeps, thank you for letting me work on you. Okay, so we have... Little Sebastian. <laughs> um, wasn't there a Sebastian in Parks and Recreation? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Little Sebastian in Parks and Recreation was this like mini horse. Okay, <laughs> forget about that. Here we have Sebastian. And how old is Sebastian? Sebastian, he's a little, he's right around five or six months. Five or six months. And how did you get Sebastian? What's the story around Sebastian? So Sebastian's mom, Penelope, and her three siblings were rescued from really severe neglect. They were living in just like feet of their own waist. They had no shelter. Oh, wow. And when we got them home, we realized that two of them were pregnant by their own father. So um, they were pregnant and only six months old, which for a pig is about the earliest they can give birth in their life. It's mm -hmm. very dangerous for them to give birth that young. So they both gave birth to some piglets and Sebastian was the only piglet that survived. Oh. Um, and his mom, Penelope, refused to care for him or nurse him at all. The vet came, they did a bunch of stuff with her and they figured out she couldn't produce any milk, she couldn't care for him. So we brought him inside up in our bathroom and I had to become Sebastian's makeshift mom 
Um, so for the first, about the first month of his life, um, I got up every two hours around the clock to feed him and take care of him and be his pig mom. Come lay down a little bit. <laughs> Come, let's do belly rub. Let's do a belly rub. Let's do a belly rub. Yes, you can go down like oh, this. Let's go, let's do a little belly rub. <laughs> Do you know how to get him to lay down a little bit? I can try. Come on, buddy. You want some hay? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. So we also have this three-legged goat. <laughs> Okay. We're having fun. Part of it is catching them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's keep moving. Who is this one? This is Lucky. Lucky I'm the lucky. lamb. I'm lucky to meet Lucky. <laughs> what a coat, right? Yeah. Hold on to him for just a second. Yep. Do you say he's a he? He's a he. Okay. So here I am up at the Atlas. There's a little spot here at C5. Can I get that for you, Lucky? One more. Ooh, that clicked in. Did you hear it? <laughs> Coming down the withers. Nothing to here. How old do you think Lucky is? Lucky is about five months. Here's one right here at, at L5. Ooh, there. Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay, now Sebastian's getting a little jealous. Why is not <laughs> anybody working on me? Here's the Atlas. Got it. There. And let me get your lower cervicals. Yeah, okay, got it. All right, you're done. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, refer your friends. <laughs> okay. Let's do a belly rub. Let's see if you lie on your side. Does he ever lie on his side? He does. It's okay. He's a little stressed out. Yeah. All right, that's Sebastian. <laughs> Let's go look at the other goat. Yeah, this is Julian. Okay, Julian is missing a leg. Is there a story about that or you got him up that way already? Um, well, when he was born, he was what they call a hard pull. He had to be pulled out of his mom and the vet that did that um, basically unintentionally destroyed all the nerves in his shoulder. Oh. So we got him at just a few days old. He was born on like a, a meat farm and um, then brought him into UT where they determined that the nerves would never be able to grow back and they did an amputation surgery. Okay. So. But see, one of the things that happens when you have three legs, not that he's not comfortable and ad adapted to it already, that's great, but he's also walking on an, a spine that's out of balance. So his gait will always be off. Um, he's compensated miraculously, like all quadrupeds will do um, to the best of their ability, but it'll also create imbalances. And if you do any massage on them, Hi, you're back to say hello. And if you do any massage on them, you can uh, start to feel the different muscle imbalances where one side feels tighter, one side feels a little more taut, tender fibers. And, um, hi Sebastian. Let me just check your neck as long as you're here. Right there. Okay. <laughs> oh God. I'm not gonna adjust Sebastian today. Well, let's go back to this one's name is? Julian. All right, so. Right up in here. Let me just massage this for a second. Can I work on your neck today? Okay, you're stuck under there. Come on out a little bit so I don't hurt you. Oh, there you go. So I'm up here. <laughs> I'm up here at the atlas. Got that one. Yeah, and so he does have a really tight lower cervical on that side of the missing leg. Here, you hold this bottom half. Got it. One more. Okay. Again, I like doing those lower cervicals in these cases. You know what I mean? What I do is I adjust <laughs> your T1. And look into my eyes. Okay, I adjust the T1. I'm just going to get in there just a little bit, okay? Because that'll help you. 
And there's that big knot that everybody misses when they massage you. How often do you get massaged? <laughs> you should. You get your little weekly massage. There you go. So my thumb is on T1, actually. One more. Got it. I got it. Let me check the rest of the spine. Let me check your tail. All right. So I got your T1 because that's the side that you're missing the leg. And I'm going to feel into the pectoralis muscle. And here's your brachiocephalicus. And your brachiocephalicus actually crosses from the neck down and attaches to the humerus, which you're missing on that side. But the brachiocephalicus is still in place. They didn't amputate that. So that's mm -hmm. good. So that's why I wanted to check that because it'll pull on the atlas. So I adjusted the atlas. I adjusted T1. The one that made him squeal a little bit was T1. And we're okay now. I'm gonna scratch your little back. Okay, how's that feel? Do you like when I do that? Do you like when I adjust? We don't know if you like the adjustment, but it was a good one. Okay. All right, so that part's done. And let's see, just so you could see his legs, see if you can get a some video of him moving on three. But he can jump up on things. He can do anything, right? Yep. Let's see him jump up on here. And does anybody want to come up here? <laughs> Julian, come on. Come on up here. No. <laughs> Not today. It's raining. And you know I might slip. All right. I do want to do like a two-second adjustment on Sebastian. So help me find him. Sebastian. So here I am on his neck, and I'm just coming down. All right, I'm just gonna do one spot. Maybe not. I'm gonna leave Sebastian alone. This is the day that Sebastian doesn't get an adjustment. He's clearly saying no, and he's saying, "Get your mitts off me." Are we friends? You wanna peck my face? Mm hmm. Thank you. Everybody leave peeps a comment, okay? Do you know how to get him to lay down a little bit? I can try. Go. <laughs> okay. We're having fun. Part of it is catching them. 